A recent study showed that over 70% of women admit to sometimes faking orgasms. This means that up to 70% of women experience communication breakdowns in the bedroom. And I believe that that is the leading cause of breakups everywhere. In this video, I'm going to teach you the three easiest ways to give a woman an orgasm to prevent that from ever happening to you. Make sure you stay to the very end of this video because if you want to give her the full orgasmic experience, you are going to want to see what I've made just for you. But why give women orgasms at all? Well, number one, orgasms feel wonderful. They make sex exciting. They make a otherwise lackluster sexual experience into something with rockets and fireworks and explosions happening and they decrease stress. If you and your girlfriend or wife are having a lot of fights recently, I would ask you, are you also having a lot of orgasms? If not, that might just be the answer. The other reason this is so important is that without a satisfying sexual connection, she will slowly lose interest. And worst case scenario, she might go looking somewhere else to get her needs met. And that's not her being promiscuous, that's her being human. And it might be that she's just not able to communicate her needs to you very clearly in a way that allows you to meet them. But fear not, that's exactly what this video is all about. As her man, what is your role in her orgasm? Well, you can't just give someone an orgasm no more easily than you can just give them a pizza. In fact, orgasms are more like a collaborative process. And if you wanna know what it looks like to make a pizza together, stay until the very end. I will explain my pizza recipe. Think of it as opposed to delivery pizza. It's like the two of you collaborating to make a pizza together. Both parties have to be in on it. When I say that both of you have to be in on it, I mean both of you are responsible. You have to be paying enough attention to her body to give her the kind of stimulation that's going to work to get her to orgasm. And she has to be giving you the feedback that you need in order to know if what you are doing is working or if it needs to be adjusted. This is a collaborative process and it requires a lot of communication and let's be real, Communication is probably the hardest thing that women and men deal with when it comes to sex. Without further ado, I'm gonna teach you the three easiest ways to work together to give her an orgasm. So, three easiest ways to bring her to orgasm. Step one is through the clitoris. Now, the clitoris is the home of female pleasure. It is the most nerve endings per square centimeter of anywhere on both male or female bodies and unlocking it is really sort of like unlocking the door to the rest of her orgasmic potential. It's like the layup of the female orgasm. It's the easiest, most direct, one-on-one -on -one route to bringing her pleasure. And now here's how you stimulate it exactly. Number one, go around the clitoris. So imagine the clitoris is like a little target and you wanna begin by going around the outside, the left, the right, the little stem behind it. You want to warm her up by being indirect. It also serves to tease her and build a little bit of anticipation. After she is warmed up is when you apply some pressure. And just like any great balancing act, you don't wanna to apply too much, but you don't wanna to apply too little. It's almost like when you are eating food and you want to not overstuff yourself so that you're totally full and it's uncomfortable, aka too much pressure, but you also don't wanna undereat so that you feel just like lacking and wanting more, aka too little pressure. The best way to determine if you're giving her the right amount of pressure is to give her two options and ask her which one she likes more. So start with like a little bit less pressure and tell her, uh, that's option A. And then give her a little bit more, uh, that's option B. Which one do you like more? By giving her two choices, you're saving her from having to do the mental work of left, right, uh, I don't know, like a five out of 10, which gets her out of her body and into her head. By giving her just two options, she gets to stay in her body, stay in her pleasure, and all she has to do is go, uh, B, yeah, B, that's the right one. And then finally, part number three is vary it up. 
change in stillness. So occasionally don't move at all. Just hold pressure, whether that's with your finger or your tongue or with the toy, on the clitoris without moving. You can also vary it up by motion. So instead of going up, down, up, down, you can go left, right, left, right, or at a diagonal. And then finally, vary your speed. So switch from going slowly to quickly up and down slowly to left and right fast. You want to vary it every 15 to 30 seconds until she gets really close to orgasming, at which point maintain the course. No variation. If it's like really working for her and you can feel, you can hear her, she's making noises, her body is moving and grinding and grooving, keep up what you're doing to bring her all the way through orgasm. Woo! All right, now that we have properly warmed up, let's get into orgasm technique number two, which is G-spot stimulation. Now, before you go on saying, oh, Caitlin, I already know all about the G-spot. I already watched all of your videos and I subscribed to your channel. Ding. I'm gonna teach you something a little bit counterintuitive about the G-spot, which is that, guess what? The G-spot does not always exist. Ba -ba -ba. Now, I don't mean in the sense of science hasn't determined whether or not the G-spot exists. If you're not sure whether or not the G-spot exists, this is not the channel for you. I'm telling you, G-spot is real. I've felt it myself. I've really felt it a couple times myself. Ooh, I've felt it with the help of... All right, suffice it to say the G-spot really exists, but it doesn't exist in the same way all the time. The G-spot is made out of a special kind of tissue that doesn't fill up with blood until she's already aroused. So if you've already given her a clitoral orgasm and now you go to check in on her G-spot, you will feel that there's like a little nub, a little ridge. That's the spot. But if she's not aroused at all or she hasn't already had an orgasm or you just are doing a little pelvic exam and you reach your finger in there, you're not going to feel it. It's kind of cool. It's a bit magic in the sense that it only shows up when she's aroused and it disappears when she's not. Tip number one is make sure that she's aroused enough for her G-spot to appear by sticking two fingers inside of her and towards the front wall of her vagina, the front of her body. And if you can feel that there's a little spongy bump, then you are good to go and proceed. If there's no spongy bump there, go back to step one and focus on the clitoris until you can get to step two, until that fleshy little nubbin appears. Second part in the G-spot orgasm is to find a rhythm. You wanna think about this G-spot orgasm as like a dance that picks up the tempo as we're going. It starts slow or, oh, maybe a train. How about, think about it like a train, like an old school steam engine taking off from the station. It starts off going, that is the rhythm of the G-spot. It starts slow, you get the rhythm going, you get some momentum, she starts to get into it, you can see her body, you can see her breath, and she's starting to move a little bit, and you pick up the pace faster and faster and faster until you really find a good rhythm and it's really working for her. At which point, warp speed, Scotty! It is time for you to take her to Pleasure Town by picking up the pace about as fast as you can physically make it until she reaches a G-spot orgasm. And if you want more details on that, please check out my video on the legendary squirting orgasm because that often accompanies the G-spot orgasm. You, if, you, if you didn't already, you might want to make sure you're keeping a towel nearby because you are going to be in the splash zone, my friend. And remember, you'll be able to wipe off all those juices, but you will not be able to wipe off that smile. So step number three is to get her involved. Like I said, orgasms are a collaboration between people. And this is the best way for you to know exactly what works for her. Remember that she is the master of her own pleasure. No one knows more about her pleasure, what works for her, where she likes to be touched, the right amount of rhythm, the move. She knows the recipe. She knows best what works for her. This is how you get that information out of her so that you can apply it and get her amazing results. 
This is how you get that information out of her so that you can be the best lover she's ever had. The problem is that most guys want to make her orgasm all on their own and they're missing out on their greatest asset in getting her off, which is her. There's a whole bunch of ways that this could look, but ultimately it's about asking her between A and B. Does she like this touch or that touch? This tongue technique or that tongue technique? She is the master of her own pleasure. So in order to get her involved, you have to give her permission to get in there. This could mean her stimulating her breasts and nipples, running her hands over her body, whatever it is that feels good. The more that you can encourage her, the more that she will feel that it is safe to. The best example I can give is when you're having sex, encourage her to touch her own clit. So if you're having penetration, you're having intercourse, grab her hand, lick her fingers, and put her hand right over her own clit. Encourage her to touch with and play with herself. Let her know that you're okay with that, that it would be hot for you, that you want her help bringing her to orgasm. This can bring the two of you closer together. It can be a really intimate and vulnerable experience for both of you, and Yes, it is going to increase the odds of her having an orgasm a thousand fold because she knows exactly what it is she needs to do to get her off. And bonus, while she's doing that, you're watching her. You're picking up information. You are understanding on a deeper level what it is that she's doing that arouses her. That way you can bring those into the bedroom with you next time. All right, I have one final thought for you. If you have ever felt confused about how to make a woman orgasm, you know that it can be difficult. You ever got that look from her that she's bored or worse, even uncomfortable or disconnected, and it leaves you feeling confused and frustrated because you know this is what she deeply desires for you to be great at. If that's you, then I want you to check out the link below. I pulled together the best techniques and strategies in a course that is never going to be on YouTube it is just for my true fans. Basically, I put together a complete program uncovering the secret to making her orgasm, and in it I do a deep dive into secrets to experiencing mind-blowing sex and giving your partner intense orgasms through penetration. If you've ever wanted to know the secret switches that turn her on and make her beg for your pleasure, this is it. I don't usually share this with everybody, but I am trying something new. So if you click on the link in the description, you are gonna hear all about the single biggest problem when it comes to pleasing a woman. Watching this video is gonna introduce you to my premium program, She Comes Too, that reveals the secrets to making her come and uh, getting in the splash zone. So if you wanna be her greatest lover, then you know the value of investing in yourself and improving your sex and dating life. You also know that I have a different approach than anyone else. So click the link below to get access to this course right now.